Here are this week's top stories. We'll check out the highlights of the ongoing Go Sports ASICS Run Series. HM Fitness Centre launches a martial arts academy. Meet the new hosts of Physique TV's new cooking show, Fit Chef Shula Z's. And find out what fitness experts have to say on what they think will trend in 2015. I'm Rachel Pether. Welcome to What's Up. great to see fitness events that involve the entire family and that is what the Go Sports ASICS Run Series is all about. For us drop by to talk to some of the attendees during the third race of the season. Three, two, one, go! Runners of all ages turn up to join the ASIX Run Series. Let's go and check it out. Hello, Mr. Warren. Can you tell us about the ASIX Run Series? It's a series of five races throughout the year, four kilometers, eight kilometers, and 12 kilometers. Open to, I think today we even had a one-year-old running with their dad in the, in the pouch. So from any age all the way through to uh, old age people, veterans, professional athletes, anybody can come participate, yes. Uh, are you happy with the turnout today? Today was great, yeah, chilly morning, uh, so close to Dubai Marathon, we had just under 300 runners, so very happy, yes, thank you. Hi, how was the race? It was really, really good, I really liked it, um, the, ra the track was really nice as well, and it was really easy to uh, Did you prepare for it? Kind of, but you know, like with the holiday and stuff, there wasn't a lot of running, so I, it was kind of hard, but I really tried. Would you do it again? Yeah, definitely. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hey man, how was the race? Yeah, it was very good, it was very nice. Uh, this is the first time? Uh, no, I've, become, I've came here before. Hi, how was the race? Oh, it was an excellent. Yeah. The first time? Uh, first time doing 8K for me, and my children are doing 4K. So we're really doing you know, well this year. Did you prepare for it? We did. Uh, we prepared uh, once or twice a week for several weeks. We have a run for fun group, which is a community group. Uh, and we really uh, uh, support each other to do as much as we can. Why do you think it's important to run as a family? Um, it's a, a family event, so we, we support each other and we feel, you know, it uh, keeps us closer together as a family. And it's important to, uh, to show uh, our children, by example, to have a healthy lifestyle. Hi, can you tell us about the race? Um, it's, well, it's my first time. I've just moved to Abu Dhabi two weeks ago, so it's my second race for the season, so it was great. It was really good weather. Um, it's nice and cool compared to Australia, so yeah. Did you prepare for it? Um, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I've joined Haddon's Gym in um, Abu Dhabi and I'm doing a triathlon training program with them. So first week of doing that this week. So that was my only preparation. Hi guys, did you enjoy the race? How was very it? Very good, very good, yeah. My wife did the 8K and we did the 4K. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Yeah. And uh, do you think it's important uh, to run as a family? Yeah, I think it's a, a great interest for everybody because the running scene here is so good and, and they encourage family involvement. So it, it's good to get everybody involved. This was his, was his first race, so um, I've been doing it for some time and my yeah. wife's enjoying it now. Yeah, he is running for three years and I just started running last September. So yeah, a bit late, but better late than never. Oh, well, the race was absolutely fantastic. I'm beat right now. Um, I'm actually here because uh, Collegiate American School is going to be running here in a few weeks. And I'm the athletic director, so I came to check it out. Very well organized, beautiful venue. 
Uh, the staff is terrific, absolutely amazing experience. It was really an incredible day for the runners and the whole family. This is Firas, see you next time. With martial arts becoming more popular in the region, HM Fitness Centre has launched its Martial Arts Academy to cater to this demand. Physique TV was there during the launch. I'm here at HM Fitness Centre and I'm going to challenge myself and see if I can learn some MMA techniques. Let's go and see if I'll survive. Hey Robert, how's it going? It's going very well. Um, a little bit nervous this morning to see how the reaction, how, how popular it would be. But you can see that it's been quite a good turnout. Awesome. Um, so can you tell me a little bit more about the academy? Yeah, I mean, I'm relatively new to Dubai. Um, I've been doing Muay Thai for about 40 years. Uh, one of the only English instructors ever to be had the privilege of training with Grandmaster Sken. I was taught from when I was six years old. Came to Dubai and I looked around some of the clubs and there, there was nothing for the children. So what we've done is we cater from five years of age right the way through to the professional fighters. There's quite a few of them in Dubai. So we have uh, Muay Thai, we have some world-class boxers, coaches in here. Uh, Thai boxer obviously we have. We have uh, Yusebe, MMA fighter, just came back from Russia on the main event and a world, world event. Uh, we've got Judo, we're the only club in the Middle East that has Judo as well. We've got Jiu Jitsu. Perfect. So which ones are your most popular classes? I have to be biased. I have to say the Muay Thai. We have instructors from other clubs come and train with us here in our gym. And then they go back to their own gym and they teach. So that's got to be a compliment to us. But we really want to concentrate on the level of instruction we have. So Jay here is the main trainer for Thai boxing, I yes. believe, in the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So what kind of age group take part in Thai boxing? Um, well, in, in my classes, we've got anything from 14-year-olds to, uh, I think one of our oldest students is in his late 40s. So yeah, a big wide age, age group. Anyone can take part, you know. You just take it at your own pace. A lot of, we've got a lot of fighters that train really fast and hard. Then the older guys just relax and do what we're doing, but at their own pace, you know. So it's good for everyone. So I'll take it there's beginners, there's yeah, yeah. pros. Yeah, we've got um, like from complete beginners who have never done it before, and then we've got like professional fighters in the gym also we put out on shows, so it's a wide variety, variety again, so it's good. Oh, sounds good. Um, and when it comes to nationalities, do you find that it's mainly expats taking part, or do you find like a lot of locals as well? We don't really have many, uh, to be honest, I haven't got many uh, Emiratis, it's all, all expats, to be honest. I've got a lot of English guys here, because I was quite well I was quite well known in England, so anyone that's come from England has looked me up and trained with me, and Australia as well, so we've got a few Australian people here. So, yeah, it's a bit of a mix, really. Well, hey, Claude, how's it going? Very good, and you? Not bad, not bad. Um, so I believe you're a boxing coach here. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about what kind of people get involved in boxing? Is it young people, a bit older? Yeah, we have from four year olds. Yeah, who have kid, kid class every uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And I have adult class. And I have also fighter class because we have a lot of professional fighter training here with us. What kind of advice would you give someone if they wanted to take up Thai boxing? 100% do it. <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing sport. Um, we've got an amazing team down here at HM Fitness. Uh, like I said, Jay is our coach, he's amazing. Rob as well, he's the assistant coach. And there's always someone here to help you out. And everyone in the class, mixed ability, and everyone's always giving pointers. So don't ever feel afraid to come down and check it out because everyone's you know, started somewhere. So it's, it's a great place to come to and check, check it out.
Physique TV is soon launching a cooking program with a twist. A healthy cooking program titled Fit Chef Shoe Ease or How Delicious. The show is presented by international US-based chef and fitness trainer Nada Frege. He headlines the show by presenting easy-to-make recipes using Middle Eastern flavours. With him is sports nutritionist Dana Al Neme, who will give the viewers nutritional guidelines and information on the recipes. Here are some highlights from the exclusive media launch at the Sheraton Jumeirah Beach Resort. Hi, I'm at the media launch of Physique TV's newest program, Fit Chef Shulaziz. Let's go and check it out. Can you tell us about the show? Uh, yes, the show, it's, uh, it's about cooking healthy food. Uh, basically, just finding the ingredients in the supermarket is very simple, easy and quick, and it's fun. Can you tell us what kind of dishes will you cook in the show? Yes, it's like a, uh, Arabic dishes, more like uh, chicken shawarma, stuff like more the Arabic food we make at home already, but it's in a healthy way and a, like a look, like a different look on it. Can you tell us about your role in this program? So I'm the nutritionist, but I'm going to be assisting Nader with his cooking. So I'm going to explain to people the nutritional values of every meal, what time to have it, the, por the right portion to have it, and the calories in everything. Wow, that's great. Dana, why is proper nutrition important? Well, nutrition is important for everyone, not only for athletes and people that train, it's for everyone. It's good for health, good health, it's good for good energy, it prevents from chronic diseases, it's good for people to prevent them from diabetes, from insulin resistance, high cholesterol, so it's good for everyone. Well, good luck for you, Dana. Thank you so much. We're trying to show people how to eat the right carbs at the right time. And uh, this is like, instead of having a spaghetti with dinner, where you're gonna have like a zucchini with dinner. Watch out for this program in February. I am Firaz, see you next time. When we come back, experts will give their prediction on what's going to be hot in the fitness industry this 2015. Here at Physique TV, we're very positive that 2015 is going to be a big year for the health and fitness industry, especially here in the Middle East. We've asked some experts to share their views on what they think will trend this year. Let's hear their predictions. 2015, I think we're going to go two extremes. I think the classes are going to get more results based, shorter time. So 30 minute workouts, I think are going to be absolutely massive, very express orientated. But on the other hand, I think we're going to get a lot more Pilates, a lot more hot classes as well. So two, two ends of the spectrum. I think people are going to demand in those two options in 2015. Yes, eat clean, keep away from sugar. Sugar is the enemy, not fat. Um, three meals a day, you don't need to do loads of snacking. Keep it really unprocessed, no sugar, lots and lots of clean ingredients, meat, fish, lots of vegetables. Be a little bit wary on the fruit, because fruit is sugar. So maybe focus more on your veggies as you start 2015. I think uh, Physique TV will be like a biggest uh, trend for 2015, especially in the Middle East, uh, because they're not uh, followers, they're being a leader and they're picking the trend and they're going with it. I think uh, clean eating will be the new trend. Uh, what I mean by clean eating is simple, healthy, easy, affordable food, especially here in Dubai because of the highest percentage of obesity and diabetes here in Dubai, especially for kids. 
2015 for sure UAE is getting fitter and stronger. People are so aware now about fitness, about weight training, about health, uh, nutrition, eat good, sleep well, drink plenty of water and do weight training. It's the best thing to decrease your extra body fat, keep your body in shape and retard the age of your body 70%. So, there is nothing better than that. I've been doing that for the past 20 years and I'm the real proof. So you, from now, 2015, start and never ever stop as it is not fashion, it is health, lifestyle, it's life. Bye. Hi, I'm Rosina and here are the highlights this week on Physique TV. On The Good Life, Gabriella meets up with Chef Danielle of Trito Restaurant at the amazing Park Hyatt Dubai to learn a new seafood recipe. She also drops by the spa to review a rejuvenating facial treatment. I'm at the Park Hyatt Dubai at Treter Restaurant with Chef Daniel. Hi Chef, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm Good, fine. Thank, thank you. you. And you? I'm fine, thanks. Excellent. So, what are we preparing today? What is this dish called? The dish called uh, Baby Roman Lettuce with uh, seared scallops and uh, sauce viage or virgin sauce. First we start with the uh, with, uh, tomatoes basically, which is the main ingredient for the sauce. It looks beautiful. Let's see if it tastes just as good. Oh, fine. It is like very it. good. Delicious. Super. I love that the scallop is very smooth and tender and the romaine lettuce is kind of crispy. Yeah, the crisp on the other side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's a nice contrast. Of course, those of you watching will have the chance to win and experience these amazing features at the Park Hyatt Dubai, so don't forget to go to our Facebook page to join. This week on the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Championship, warm and sunny weather drew more than 3,000 spectators to the Blue Lagoon in Pembrokeshire, Southwest Wales. This first stop on British soil presented the highest standard of diving that the competition has seen so far and saw the judges pull out the 10 a total of four times. Anatoly Shabotenko waiting for his final appearance among the best eight. He's up next. Kulturi's 5.4 degree of difficulty is the lowest in the final round so far but none of the divers before him achieved spectacular results. Can the 23-year-old wrest the lead from Artem Silchenko? He did it! Congratulations from his rivals. High scores from the judges and a jump to first place. Rookie Kulturi has made his mark in the World Series. Davis take off there like he was just swinging his arms up. What he needs to do is make sure he gets his arms all the way up to the ears. The arms are just stopping just a little bit too early, which kills some of the rotation. But he knows what to do, so he holds onto the twist, and at the end he really works the Barani. And he seems to come into vertical, but then he has this little strange problem where he kind of puts his feet under, underneath the water, and that's what always kicks up the splash. So, But that'll come with the pre-season training. He's just such a great guy, a fantastic attitude. I cannot wait to see what he's got in the future. This week on the Mountain Bike Chronicles, check out some thrilling rides at Les Alpes, France. The two best riders on tour will show off their electrifying skills to get to the top spot. There is also a preview on the mountain bike themed film, Where the Trail Ends. 
Working amidst beautiful landscapes and the strongest downhill riders in the world, Canadian film crew Freeride Entertainment is currently shooting its most ambitious project to date. For their newest movie, Where the Trail Ends, they have traveled three continents, testing the limits of bikes and filmmaking. My name is Brad McGregor. I'm the director of photography for Where the Trail Ends. On this project, we really wanted to bring out the, the raw emotion and take you on a bit of a journey. We've been doing a two-year project. That's been pretty enduring. We've traveled the world and uh, back again. It takes a little bit of time to realize, OK, yeah, that's rideable, that's not rideable. You know, a few years of coming to these landscapes and trying things out, and sometimes they work, and sometimes they don't. But this is kind of the, the trials and the tribulations of making a big trip happen. Again, here are this week's top stories. Runners of all ages participate in the third instalment of the Go Sports ASICS Run Series. HM Fitness Centre launches a martial arts academy. Physique TV presents Fit Chef Shula Z's. And experts give their views on what's going to trend in fitness in 2015. Thanks for joining me today. For any comments or suggestions, get in touch with us on our social media pages. I'm Rachel Pepper. See you next time.